Uh, tonight, our team's name is not not my tempo. I know that's what I told you. Our actual team name is uh, Second Concept. Um, and the reason why we're going to be called that tonight is because this team only loses to two teams, Second Real and Concept, and I would like to add another loss to that record. Um, somehow, Coho pulls out answers that guesses the correct sports, right professions, uh, shoots, throws a dart at a director and hits it. Uh, Holtzman never watches any movies. Besides, he watched The Prom today, and he thinks Chicago's a bad movie. That's hilarious. Um, but he'll just guess correct answers, too, the entire way through. It's like playing two <clears throat> RJs that have – one has slightly better hair than RJ. So go in there. Win this match, please. I would like to go to the second round, and I would like to not hear Coho. You know, remember the time I beat Mark Machaco and uh, Dylan in a, in a match? I don't want to hear that. So you have a job to do? Do it. Okay. Let's play. All right, back in the uh, in the movie Warzone tournament, uh, and Cody said it couldn't say it better himself. We only lose to second reel and the concept, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to second reel at some point in this tournament. It's inevitable. Uh, but I like Dylan. Uh, and I like Mark. Uh, so I don't have too much beef to talk about or say. But we're gonna. Our goal is to win this tournament, uh, and we're gonna do it. Yeah, uh, like you said, like Cody said, we lose to second reel and the concept. They lose to Aaron and Anthony. Uh, we are very different teams. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. Uh, we're back. We made it to the semis of the team's tournament last year. Uh, we played for the title last year. Hopefully we can do one, if not both, of those things again. Magic Wake of Man, let's play. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplex and Movie Warzone. I'm your host, Caleb Boatman. And we got a match in the Movie Warzone team's tournament. This is round one of the tournament. We got the seven seed Clash of Demon Head going up against the ten seed, not my tempo. Uh, and on the desk, we have Mr. Payson Johnson. Payson, how are you feeling about this matchup? I'm feeling great. Uh, yeah, in in my personal opinion, this is one of the more exciting matches of the first round. I think both of these teams have very differing strengths, and I'm very excited to see how those are going to uh, match up against each other. Yeah, uh, Clash, we haven't seen, I don't think, since uh, they played Excommunicado. And uh, Not My Tempo, we haven't seen since they made their big comeback uh, playing Super Troopers. So both these teams coming off of a win. We will see how they do from here. Without further ado, we will get started. Okay, round one's going to work like this. You're going to get eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all right, you get all right question. Uh, you're going to be using whiteboard three repeats and challenge throughout the entire match. Okay, without further ado, we will get started with question one of round one. Your first question is going to come in the category of romance. What film is about two American friends on vacation in Spain who both fall in love with the same painter? Have you ever fallen in love with a painter, Bowman? I was just about to ask you that question. Um, no. That's fair. That's fair. I've not fallen in love with a painter, but I've fallen in love with a uh, with a nude model, if you will. One question. Okay, that is not my tempo for a repeat. Uh, in the category of romance, what film is about two American friends on vacation in Spain? who both fall in love with the same painter. I appreciate not my tempo using their repeat to mask the bullshit that was coming out of my mouth. Yeah, good good idea. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, we will start with Holzman. Vicky Cristina Barcelona. And Mark. I no idea. Is that big eyes? And Coho. This movie is bad. Vicky Cristina Barcelona. No, it isn't. Dylan. I got it wrong. Vicky Cristina Barcelona is correct. All right, gentlemen, your next question will be coming to you in the category of Oscars. At the most recent Oscars, who is the only Oscar who is the only person to win an acting Oscar for playing a real person? Okay, Payson. Yes. Who would you want to play you in a movie? Ooh, uh, I'm not sure how much we look alike, but back in 2016, I looked shockingly like the Sing Street Kid, so I would like to do him. I could see that. Five, five, four, three, 
Fucking like hands down. Let's go to Dylan. Uh, I couldn't remember. All right, Coho. Daniel Kaluuya. And Mark. Yeah, it's him. They didn't have it. And uh, Holson. Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya is correct. In your third question in the category of comedies, what is the species of John Candy's character in Spaceball? Who would you like to play you in a biopic, Bowman? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I feel there have been people who I've been told should play me, but I can't remember them. Isaac Hempstead Wright, I've been told, should play me. Five. Four, four, you the weird eye shit. Two. One. Pens down. Let's go to uh, Coho. I can't remember. I said he's a dog. This movie's real bad. And Dylan. I haven't seen it. I just guessed he's Pizza the Hut. And Holton. You're so close, Coho. He's a mog. There you go. And uh, Mark. Yeah, I didn't know you were looking for some specific said dog person. He is a mog. He's a mog. So only Hulk can get the point there as we get into our fourth question. <clears throat> yes, your next question will be coming to you in the category of sports. In Rocky, Rocky's match with Apollo is on what holiday? Hey, Boatman. If you were to eat a bowl of Rocky Road ice cream, which holiday would you like to eat it on? Good question. I would eat it on my birthday, which is my own holiday. Understandable. Four, three, two, one. It's also the only holiday that doesn't give away an answer. Let's go to Mark. Fourth of July. And uh, New Year's Day. And Cole. New Year's Day. Jeez. And Dylan. This is really not my night. I said Christmas. New Year's Day is correct. I did not realize when I asked that question that it could give away an answer, so my bad. That's fair. No worries. Your fifth question in the category of coming of age slash teen. What is the profession of Matthew Broderick's character in Election? It's a great movie. Fantastic film. Mm-hmm. Director I'm hit or miss on, but this one I'm very much a hit with. Uh, Koho has not seen Downsizing, apparently. So. I have, and it's the only bad movie he has. Yeah. Have you seen where he is? He's in it right now. And down, let's go to Mark. Said reporter. And Dylan. Teacher. And Holton. Teacher. And oh, teacher, teacher is correct. All right, your next question will be coming to you in the category of drama. A few good men centers around what branch of the military? Red Jaw, Boatman, Holtzman. Those are a few good men. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Coho not making the list. I wouldn't expect myself to make the list. <laughs> and now let's go to Dylan. Avi. And Coho. Said the Army. And Holson. I said the Navy. And Mark. The Marines. The Marines That's is right. correct. No perfect rounds tonight. I don't know what the U.S. mill is. Slice it into that. And as we get into the 10 ultimate question category of quotes, finish the quote from In the Heat of the Night. They call me, and we need two words. I love how everyone sort of rolled their eyes at quotes, and then they heard the question. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three. One. Pens down. Let's go to cover. Mr. Tibbs. And Holton. Mr. Tibbs. And Mark. Mr. Tibbs. And Dylan. Nope. Mr. Tibbs is correct. 
All right, and that brings us to it. That brings us to our final question because there are no perfect rounds. In the category of 2010s, in The Help, who plays Celia Foote, who eventually hires and forms a friendship with Minnie? Not to be confused with her sister, Celia Hand. Is this how people feel about me? Yes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Let's go to Holtzman. Is it Bryce Dallas Howard? And Mark. Said Emma Stone. I know who it is now. And Coho. Jessica Chastain. That's who it is. And Dylan. Bryce Dallas Howard. Jessica Chastain is correct. So it is 12 to 3, if I'm not mistaken. Clash with the lead as we get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. Each team is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again. Then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions from whatever category they get. They get right two points, multiple choice to one point, or if they get wrong, other team gets a chance to steal. Categories on our lovely wheel tonight are Clash's strengths of 2010's original score nominees and 21st century live action musicals, Not My Temple's strengths of David Cronenberg and Mark Wahlberg. We also have Classics comedy, action, adventure, and romantic comedy. Clash, you are in the lead. Would you like to spend first or defer? No second. Okay. Yeah. You ran Not My Tempo's manager. Not My Tempo, this is your spin. And you land on comedy. Would you like to go that or spin again? It's not a strength. We need a ton of points at this point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, feel, Mark, how do you feel? Like I feel good about it, and there's some things we really don't want on the wheel. Um, like Dylan, do, do, how how good do you feel about this? This is one I'm like fifty fifty on. But if you feel I'm, really good about it, then I'm leaning towards spinning again, just because we need the point. Let's just spin again. Okay. This is your spin. Nothing will be worse than you know. Yeah. What was the first round? And you land on Spinner's Choice. Okay. Um, I think what uh, Wahlberg. I can do it. Or right. what's the other one? Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Oh, do Cronenberg. Cronenberg. All right, let's okay. Cronenberg. I think you both can take time on Cronenberg yeah. and work through it. And uh, Holtzman watched uh, Wahlberg. So, yeah, let's just leave. That's fine. Okay. Just take it slow. Gotcha. Okay. I will give you your questions in the category of David Cronenberg films. In the dead zone, when Johnny first met Stilson, Stilson was running for what office? Senator, right? That's what he's running for throughout the whole movie, but... I'm pretty sure. I think you're right, yeah. Let's just go for it, I guess, yeah. Uh, All right, Senator, Senator final, final answer? That is correct for two points. Second question. What is the last name of brothers Beverly and Elliot in Dead Ringers? Do you remember? I, I'm having trouble no. recalling off the top of my head. Yeah. Multiple choice, please. Right. A. Markson. B. Stackton. C. Mantle. D. Wallach. It's Mantle, I believe. Go for it. Yeah. Mantle, final answer. That is correct for one point. Your third question. In Maps to the Stars, what is the name of the remake that Havana won't be roll in? <sighs> it's, uh, this is one, yeah, I'll need... I'll need multiple on it. I'm sorry. All right. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Clever Winds, B, Stolen Waters, C, Old Horizons, D, Rural Secrets. Stolen Waters. I don't Stolen Waters. That is correct for one point. In Existence, 
What is the name of the group of fin fanatics that fight against both game companies? Uh, it, what, anything coming to your head? No. I know, again, I'll... No, yeah. it was multiple. Multiple Three, choice. Well, yep. Multiple choice options are A. Realist, B. Lesseners, C. Logics, D. Bio-Believers. I think it's a Realist. I'm not 100% sure. I think so, yeah, actually. Okay, uh, Realist, okay. final answer. That is correct for 120. And your final question. Who plays Dr. Hal Raglan in The Brood? That's Oliver Reed, isn't it? Uh, if you're confident, go for it. Oliver Reed, final answer. That is correct for two points. Okay, so I saw a question lead 12 to 10. Is that what you know, Payson? Uh, yes, 12 to 10 is what I have. 12 to 10, okay. So we will go to Clash's spin. Mm -hmm. Put your first spin is away. And it lands on romantic comedies. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Yeah, we might as well spin again. Spin again. All right. This is the category you are stuck with. You land on 2010's original score nominees. All right. Uh, so, Peyton, you want to take those questions, please? Absolutely. All right, Jonathan, your first question. What character narrates the book, Beef? Death. Death. Death, Death final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Two points. Ask her that question 20 minutes ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going into Clash's second question. What decade does Phantom Thread take place in? It's the 1950s. Go for it. 1950s, final answer. That is correct for two points. I hate that movie. All right. Third question. What job did John Goodman's character have in Argo? He's a uh, producer, right? No, no, no. John Goodman he's, is the... He's is the, the makeup is the... artist, right? Yes, I a think. A makeup artist, final answer. That is correct for two points. Fuck you guys. Yeah, Ar Arkin's the producer. Who plays Jackie Kennedy's secretary Nancy in Jackie? Oh, shit. Oh, no. I think I might know it on multiple choice. Go multiple because I got nothing. Multiple choice. Right, multiple choice options are A, Greta Gerwig, B, Melanie Laurent, C, L. Fanning, D, Dakota Fanning. It's Greta Gerwig. That's what I was thinking when I heard it. It's Greta Gerwig, final answer. That is correct for one point. And your final question. In the Grand Budapest Hotel, Zero is hired as a lobby boy in what year? Oof. Um, what year? I have no memory of any I year. I think we got to go multiple on this. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, 1931, B, 1932, C, 1934, D, 1935. I was going to say it was something with a one, so maybe it's 1931. Sure. 1931, final answer. That is incorrect. Not my tempo for the one point steal. Your options are A, 1931, B, 1932, C, 1934, D, 1935. 35 is the one that stood out to me. Um, you, you, know, you know, Anderson, you know, Anderson better than I do. So you, you feel good with 35? It's, they're all sticking out to me about the same, if I'm being honest. But 1935. Can we hear the options again? All right. Like, yeah. A, 1931, B, 1932, C, 1934, D, 1935. Still feel good about it? Yeah. All right, 1935, final answer. That is incorrect, looking for 1932. Mm. So, if I'm not mistaken, it is 19 to 10. Is that what you have, Payson? That is what I have, yes. All right. So, we're going to get into round three. Round three is going to work like this. 
Uh, each team is going to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question categories they will be able to pick from tonight are animation, Zemeckis, directors, music, movie release dates, recent releases, romance, and drama. We're going to let them pick their categories right now. We'll get back to you right now. Okay, so our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Not my tempo has picked their one in directors, their two in drama, their three in Zemeckis, and their four in animation, whereas Clash at Demon Head has picked their one in recent releases, their two in animation, their three in music, and their four in Zemeckis. So we will start with Not My Tempo, but their one in directors. Peace, and you're going to give Not My Tempo their one pointer in directors for one. Absolutely. All right, uh, Not My Tempo, your one pointer in the category of directors. Who directed Ford v. Ferrari? James Mangold. That is correct for one point. All right, and your two pointer in the category of drama. Who directed the Stephen King adaptations, The Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, and The Mist? Frank Darabont. That is correct for two points. All right, not my tempo. You're moving on to your three-pointer, and I would like to say uh, you do have to hit both your three and your four to stay in the game. Your three-pointer in the category of Robert Zemeckis. Who plays Queen Wealthio in Beowulf? It's, um, pretty sure it's Robin Wright. Okay. I, th I, I believe you're right on that, yeah. Yeah, uh, Robin Wright, final answer. That is correct for three points. Wait, was there a pause because I didn't say Robin Wright Penn? <laughs> That's who she was at the time. <laughs> no, Payson just pauses. Okay. Payson likes to give you a hard time. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Payson, right. relax. Okay. <laughs> Your four pointer in the category of animation in Trolls World Tour. Barb sends four genres of music bounty hunters to capture Poppy. Name two of them. So there's a, a country one, isn't right? I believe it, it, it's just the same ones from the movie, or like from the rest of the movie. I believe it's like country, five rock, four. Repeat the question. Is your second repeat? In Trolls World Tour, Barb sends four genres of music bounty hunters to capture Poppy. Name two of them. I think you're right on country, because I'm not 100% sure. This movie's a blur. Um, There's country, rock, I think pop is another one. Uh, five. Uh, yeah, I, I take it. Repeat the question. Oh, sorry. That is your final <laughs> In Trolls World Tour, Barb sends four genres of music bounty hunters to capture Poppy. Name two of them. Do you want to just say hip hop for the other one then? I think so, yeah. All right, so country, pop, rock, and. Wait, no, yeah, hold, 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 hold. Country, hip hop, final answer. And your winners! By way of technical knockout, Clash at Demon Head, the critical answers were reggaeton, K-pop, yodel, and smooth, or smooth jazz. Okay. So, we're going to go to post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher tonight, Not My Tempo. Not My Tempo. Uh, you guys uh, play well, just kind of, round one was rough, and that's just kind of capped it from there, but how, how are you feeling overall? You can spray a turd gold and doesn't make it uh, doesn't make it sound any better. Uh, yeah, we out, they outscored us by a lot in round one. That was the game, and it was over. Mark's playing fandom uh, didn't have enough, and we just they're out of our wheelhouse. Um, there was just some things that just came up that was completely one hundred percent wheelhouse for them, and that's what happens in a mixture of rounds. So um, we didn't get we didn't get knocked out. So. That's something positive we can carry on. Um, I think the question at the end should have been worded of, of music that most people don't listen to genres, and then maybe you'd be on the right track because, yeah, a lot of people just pop and yodeling. Um, but at the end of the day, 
can't do it. Uh, they're a great team. Um, yeah, we'll be back. We're one and two, but uh, I think this team still has what it takes. It's just played a strong team today. And picking Cronenberg, I still don't think was a bad decision. I think if we pick something else, I don't know how fresh you are on Wahlberg either with all the fandom stuff. So it is what it is. Three points in round one is never what we wanted. So uh, we'll go back to the drawing board. But we'll be back. And our winners tonight, Clash at Unhead. Clash, you guys. Uh, 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 oh, as, as much as we like Mark. Like, as much as I love Mark on the team right now. It feels a little uh, weird. <laughs> honorary member, Mark Machaka. Sure. Uh, but you guys won tonight. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, it always feels good to win. Uh, this was, I think, a strong match between the two of us. Yeah. Um, I watched a lot of Cronenberg. Uh, it's nice to know that the questions were at least used and so I could hear them and be like, oh, yeah, instead of just like what usually happens when you study for a strength or you sit there and go, I watched all these movies and now I have nothing to do with this knowledge but cry. Uh, yeah. But no, yeah, I feel good. Uh, Coho, you're the one who talks more. You talk. Uh, I, I feel good, too. I think we played really strong. Round one was very much uh, – I was very happy with, with the stuff that came up. Um, I'm going to kick myself over Mog. I hate Spaceballs. The movie's trash. Uh, and I hate, I hate, I hate Mel Brooks right now with every fiber of my being uh, for Mog. Um, and I don't remember the other one in this anyway. But uh, Six can't sneeze at it. Um, I feel pretty good uh, considering I, I'm not, I'm not like super free right now to be doing all my trivia um, as much as I'd like to. Uh, so Holter really took the brunt of this match for us and uh, and it paid off and uh, I'm happy I was able to help him out. And um, I, I like the guys we played today. They they put up a, a really strong round too that I was very nervous uh, about if we needed a really good spin to, to keep the lead. Yeah. Uh, luckily we got it. Uh, fucking zero. Fuck you, Zero. <laughs> Fuck you, Wes Anderson. That's all I got to hey, say. Hey, no, we like... Well, sorry, not... You me. like I, Wes I, Anderson. I just don't tell. I just forgot. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Now you're playing uh, in round two of the tournament. You are playing the winner of uh, Second Reel or Excommunicado. So how do you feel about that? So either way, it's a rematch. Uh, I'd prefer one and rematch over another. have gone very different both times we've played either of these... T- uh, when we played either of these teams. Excommunicado, we just played. Uh, I think they're a lot better than that last match proved them to be, and I'd like to see them again, especially if they're an excommunicado that can beat second real. Yeah. That being said, Coho and I have said it once. Coho and I have said it twice, and we will say it a third time. This is the we time now. Second real. <laughs> this we is where we can do it. We do, we can. We just third time's the charm. Yet. Third time's the charm. We're gonna beat the second reel the third time around. Hopefully, maybe Matt Queller is Holtzman's kryptonite, and I I hope we can overcome that this time. Okay. Well, thank you to Holtzman. Thank you to Coho. Uh, Payson, uh, final thoughts on the match? Yeah. Uh, that uh, that was a good match. Um, I I think it's just like you said. It's really tough to come back from a round one deficit like that. But uh, not my tempo is a great team. I know they're gonna be back. And uh, congratulations to Flash of Demon Head. All right. Well, uh, thank you to Clash. Thank you to Not My Tempo. Thank you to Cody. Uh, thank you, Patient, for co-hosting. This has been Multiplex Movie Wars, and I'm your host, Kilo Bo Have a good night, everybody. Bye, bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, the It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye.